my PU2 champions. So your unit test is round the corner. It is going to start from 11th of August for most of the students. You can have different timetable although. So now we have done so many chapters, so many questions we have already revised. But something which is very, very important is what to study just last one day before the exam or after completing everything. What are the most important things that we must revise before going to the exam? So in this video, I'll be talking all the important questions that you must have a look before going to the exam in order to score high okay so these are the most 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 relevant predicted and i can say uh, like a pakka type questions okay definitely there's a higher chance that these questions will come in the exam so if you have not prepared in a like a properly just go through these questions i'm very sure that you will be able to answer at least 70 to 80 percent of the questions okay so let's go chapter wise i'll be discussing most important uh, questions from each and every chapter so for second puc chemistry unit test we have these three chapters in our uh, syllabus that is solutions d and f block element and hello alkanes and hello arenes so let's first talk about the solutions chapter okay so what all things that uh, you should be focusing so let me first tell you here something very important okay so in solutions what all questions we will get first let's discuss that so in solutions chapter you will get mcqs definitely okay then you will be getting two marker questions okay then you will be getting three marker questions okay and you will be getting three mark numericals numerical answers okay so these five uh, four type of questions will be there mcq plus fib is also included so this is there and then two marker three marker and three marker numerical questions you will get so what all things can be asked here see in two or three marker sections first of all henry's law is very important so you can be asked the henry's law then it's a mathematical expression then what is the significance of kh value okay now whenever mathematical equation is asked please remember to write the terms definition also for example you are writing p is equal to kh into x so what is p what is kh what is x here that all you have to substitute you have to show okay next is applications of henry's law it can be a direct three marker question or if two applications are asked it can also be a two marker question next we have <coughs> raoul's law okay and its expression that is also important three differences between ideal and non-ideal and positive and negative deviation here examples are very important so you have to remember the examples of each at least two two examples for each of them next we have azure tropes their definition okay their examples here also examples are very important then you have positive that is maximum boiling azotope and minimum boiling azotope so their differences or their examples you should be knowing next we'll talk about molarity and molality its expression can be asked and which is affected by temperature and why that is there next draw the variation of vapor pressure with temperature this graph draw the graph actually here okay this is that what you have to focus on next some reasoning questions are there which has been asked like this type of questions were actually not asked like before two three years but now in the last year in 2025 paper from solutions three marker section the questions were not that easy somewhere it was slightly tricky so these are certain reasoning questions that you can focus on the first one is why aquatic animals are more comfortable in cold water next why the vapor pressure of a solvent decreases on adding a solute why the boiling point increases then we have why the freezing point of the solvent decreases on adding a solute so all the four colligative properties you should know at least uh, relative lowering of vapor pressure elevation in boiling point and decrease in freezing point so what is the reason in that that you should be knowing this can be asked in a reasoning reason based question or the like application based why uh, we add snow uh, why we add salt in the snowy roads to clear it okay then you can uh, like why water boils above 100 degrees celsius at higher altitude so these all type of reasoning questions three reasoning questions can be given three markers simple one one line answers you should you have to write so these reasoning questions should be clear okay <coughs> okay next moving to 
numerical type so there can be many questions but definitely there you will get elevation in boiling point depression in freezing point and osmotic pressure these are the three important numerical questions and you will be asked to calculate the molecular mass most probably okay if i see last five years of paper they always ask you to calculate the molecular mass so direct formula based questions here you can get then you may have relative lowering of vapor pressure and henry's law question also but these are much most important okay clear with this solutions chapter important points are discussed now let's move to the second chapter that is d and f block elements so here also you will have what type of questions two marker questions okay you will have three mark questions okay then you will have mcq plus fill in the blanks okay so this two marker and three marker questions you have to tackle so let's see some examples first first of all whatever examples and in text questions are there in your ncrt book please read all of them okay this is very very important some of them can come in two markers like all the examples and in text questions mostly can cover your two marker section so please do it and you can easily find the answers of these questions in internet also if you have any doubt in any question you can put down in the comment section i will answer to you or else practice all at least i think total 10 15 questions will be there including examples and in text questions so please do that first okay after that you have to uh, learn these answers why transition metal show catalytic property this is a super important question has been asked many times then why transition metals form colored compounds why they form complex compounds why they show variable oxidation state okay so these are four you should be knowing reasons each of them can be a three marker question because in each of them three three reasons you can find out okay this can be a two marker question but definitely this and this and this can be a three marker question next what are interstitial compounds and write its characteristics a very easily three marker question again a very popular most repeated question here next calculate the spin on the magnetic moment this can be asked for any element but some common element that we have been asked regularly is ti3 plus mn2 plus scandium 3 plus okay it's magnetic moment how to calculate that you should be knowing this can be a two marker question next preparation of potassium dichromate from chromite ore a definite 100 plus 100 percent your question from three mark or potassium permanganate any one of this preparation will be asked for three markers i can write it and give it to you so please the reactions of this one is little bit complicated so write it again and again again and again prepare it balanced reactions will only be required so please prepare balanced reactions okay moving towards here lanthanide contractions its causes and consequences again a very important question why the study of actinoids is difficult this also can be a three marker question this also can be a three marker question okay if only contraction and cause that can be two marker contraction and uh, one consequence that can be a two marker question so they can put it in any mark but you if you are prepared you can write any answer and one more thing here you can uh, prepare is Uh, oxidizing property oxidizing property of mno4 minus okay especially for i minus in acidic medium and i minus in neutral medium okay this is important please revise this one next we'll go to uh, hello alkenes and hello arenes so see there are certain important questions in this chapter also but that is already given in the in text question so i have not taken that okay so you have to do in text questions and examples now moving to the third chapter hello alkenes and hello arenes so here what type of questions you will get mcqs plus fill in the blanks then you will get two marker questions okay one or two two marker question and then five mark question 
okay so what we can get in two marker questions we have the list here two marker question name reactions can be asked so finkelstein reaction woods reaction swartz reaction fittig reaction woods fittig and sandmeier these are all your name reactions that can be asked now while writing name reactions if it is a two marker question the first point should be your definition okay and the second point should be the reactions okay try to write first the statement of the reaction or definition of statement in the second point the reaction itself okay so that will give you two marks next you can also have terms like explanation of racemic mixture chiral carbon enantiomers these all things can be asked you to explain okay and it can also be having any iupsc nomenclature can also be there okay but iupsc i believe mostly will be in the mcq section but still you can prepare here also next there is a very important question aryl halides are less reactive than alkyl halides why so three reasons two reasons can be asked okay so basically it will be two reasons for two marker questions but you should be preparing this answer also then one more question i'll add here uh chlorobenzene is less reactive than benzene reason okay that's the what is the reason here that also you should be knowing next write a note on grignard reagent zaitsev rule and elimination reaction this can also be in the two marker question coming to five markers only mechanisms can be asked sn1 reaction mechanism and sn2 reaction and there can be some fill in the blanks questions means the reaction will be given you have to find the product so that type of question can be asked here okay so these are the most important topics now once you have learned this topics or once you have revised this topics please go and watch this video where i have discussed almost 100 questions okay from all the three chapters 100 questions mcqs fill in the blanks two markers three markers five markers numerical 100 questions have been discussed here and there were certain requests for d and f block students were not able to understand that or the concepts were not clear so you can watch this video where i have made a complete only one short video to understand the entire d and f block chapter so if you have doubt in this chapter do watch this otherwise please watch this and complete this 100 questions i can guarantee you how you will definitely get 30 plus out of 35 okay now uh, after this uh, that's all in this video please uh, you can take a screenshot of this and we'll be attaching the pdf of the whatsapp uh, in our whatsapp group so please join the whatsapp group any other doubts you have any other topic you want me to discuss any other way you think i can help you please put down in the comment section i'll definitely address to it and thank you for watching and all the very best for your first quarterly test and my blessings my wishes are with you and do let me know if you find any trouble okay Thank you for watching and all the very best.